I had this idea of a love lorn phone sex operator and I thought this would be a great chance for, to see Rusty to kind of role she doesn't normally play. And so it was a month or two and I came back and I said, all right, I got it. You're going to play a phone sex operator. And she said, okay. <laughs> and I started writing it and I realized we're both from Chicago. I wanted to set the first act in Chicago, have her come out to LA and capture the two cities I know best in, in contrast. So if I was going to contrast them, I realized I needed to show the snow. So I had only written the first 20 pages when I went out to Chicago and started filming. Was, remember the polar vortex, that incredible winter? That happened? Yes, I remember it well. I'm sure you do, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, uh, so we went out and captured that and uh, filmed the first act and I cast locally and worked with crew that ended up coming out to LA to work with us in some cases. Uh, but uh, that, was, that was the impetus and we shot that first act and I came back and finished the script and took it from there. This is Roxy. Oh, oh, oh. oh, baby, I'm so wet. I'm so drenched. No, 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 baby, I don't judge. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I see the steam coming up. Stop! Wait! Hold up! I can't let you. I'm doing this for you karmically as well as for me. You cannot take my baby. You wouldn't repossess an actual baby, would you? What was your background in terms of being a sex uh, uh, operator? Oh, uh, actually, uh, a good friend of mine in L.A. Uh, was a phone sex operator. So she would tell me stories uh, about, you know, some of her clients. And she was very specific. Uh, she was a dominatrix uh, because she had a voice that was like this. And so she would use that voice. Um, but uh, you had other ideas of what kind of... Right, I didn't want you to go right. low because uh, I felt like that high-pitched voice, I don't know, maybe, I don't remember why at the time, maybe because Gabby's kind of an innocent character and you're doing, what did you call it earlier, your baby girl voice? My, like, my sexy baby sexy voice. Sexy baby voice. Yeah. Anyway, it just the seemed sexy more baby right. Voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. But <laughs> to me there was a lot of... It was a really sort of uh, fruitful area to introduce this character where she's playing these roles, you know, and uh, 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 able to hide behind that because Gabby's somebody who doesn't have the highest self esteem, and that's a lot right. of what the journey in the movie's about well, is more, her discovering herself. I think it's more that she doesn't have a lot of self awareness. She definitely doesn't. Yeah. It's, it's the relationship with her mom and her sister are sort of the central relationships in the movie. Right. And I think that she often sees herself in their eyes and her mom treats her like she's a disappointment. So that's maybe more yeah. how I see it as her having low self-esteem. Yeah. Uh, because that's really kind of the big growth for her is, is uh, the relationship with her sister and how that evolves. Uh, she hasn't been speaking to her for years, you know, and they... Uh, come together in the movie because she's in LA. Yeah, and that's the love story, really. Yeah. Even though uh, you see Gabby going back and forth between two guys, the real love story is with her sister. And, and, and that's another reason why I loved this story so much.